Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sports Central. I'm Mark Jackson, my co-host, Mr. Hank Longo. And Hank, what a year it has been in 2012. An exciting year, great times, but a lot of prosperity coming to Polk County simply because yeah. of sports and special events. Yeah, it's a, it's a great year for uh, Polk County Sports Marketing and want to thank our sponsor for this first segment, the Holiday Inn in Lakeland. It's just north of I-4. And, you know, when you, it, it's just amazing, over 220 events, that that much is going on and that just that ball just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling like a Detroit diesel going downhill, you know, we just get that momentum going in and just keep rolling and just, gosh, a lot of economic benefit for the county and, and just a lot of different sports that we're going to have fun talking about. Well, it's an interesting uh, philosophy, a theory, if you will, um, that has proved out time and time again, and that is the Board of County Commissioners and of course the Tourist Development Council are charged with growing our economic climate and certainly the, the BOCC the board has just done a marvelous job of, of uh, guiding and directing and doing the things that need to be done to make tourism and sports marketing successful and yeah. one of the best in the country. In fact in 2012 Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing was named Convention and Visitors Bureau of the Year by the Southeast Tourism Society. When you take a look at Southeast U.S., that's some pretty formidable competition. Some, some great competition and just uh, hats off to what a great job tourism and sports marketing has done. Well, it's been a great, great year uh, in a lot of ways, and we're going to get right into it with our individual sports. When we say individual sports, that's mano y mano. That's uh, you know, whether you're competing in a triathlon or golf, mm -hmm. or it could be any number of things. And we have a whole sequence of, uh, of areas that we're gonna go over. Some of the highlights from this year, PGTV's uh, staff had just done a marvelous job putting some of this footage together, as good as you're gonna see anywhere in the sports world. And, and we're certainly proud of them. Yeah. Couldn't, be, uh, mm -hmm. couldn't be more pleased with the quality of work that they do. Well, one of the biggest events that we had uh, throughout the course of the year was the Warrior Dash. And Hank, that's kind of a, a fascinating event. And it's really been a shift in the, in the running sports. It's kind of a new trend that's very, very well, you've popular got right obstacles now. and, you know. Go through fire and mud. Through fire and mud and climbing up walls and all kinds of stuff. But when you look at that, they get over 10,000 participants. I mean, that is a huge event. I mean, yeah, to, to be exact, over 13,000 participants. And that's over a two day period, kind of set up and stuff. That's uh, actually a three day event. And it's held out at Triple Canopy Ranch. Pete Cassidy and his staff out there doing a marvelous job working in partnership with uh, Polk County Sports Marketing to pull it off. And Triple Canopy, for those of you that don't know where it is, is east of Lake Wales, just off of Highway 60. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous facility. And this is the biggest mud run or obstacle run in the country. Okay, so it's really a testament to the partnership that's been developed and the things that are going on out there. But uh, wow, exciting times there yeah. and more of those to come. It's held uh, during the winter time, usually in January. And uh, you know, this is the group. You know, uh, I was going to say Red Frog Racing that out of Chicago mm -hmm. that uh, hooked up with us with uh, Pete Cassie at Triple, Ca at Triple Canopy. Wow. It's just, just, it's fun. I mean, it's fun as a spectator a great, sport, a but if spectator you're participating, sport, yeah, 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 expecting so, it dirty. Yeah. It's a dirty sport. Yeah, it's a dirty <laughs> sport. In a good way. So, February 2nd, this coming year in 2013, uh, 2nd and 3rd, that is, the uh, championships will be held out of Triple Canopy, so make sure you check that out. Another one, Ironman, one of your favorites. Oh, man. Uh, you talk about getting the best athletes in the country, and these in guys the are in, in, in the world, yeah. exactly, and coming from all over to all Haines over City. Yeah, in fact, I think uh, every uh, uh, country in Europe was represented. I think all the uh, continents, except for Antarctica, were represented. I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. And uh, this year, it's May 19th, meaning 2013. 13. This last year, of course, the highlight, Lance Armstrong. Whether you love him, you hate him, or you're just sort of undecided about Lance, he is a world-class athlete, world-class guy. And uh, brought a lot of people to the event just to watch him. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he kind of had his own setup area and, and, and so on. But people were just like, just for years have been amazed at this guy and, and what a phenomenal athlete he is. But it was the first triathlon that he won. 
in, uh, I think since the 1990s. He won another one in Texas here, uh, I believe it was this last weekend, Hank, that I saw. So uh, he's sort of on a roll in the triathlon. Well, what, what's triathlon neat about sense. this is we've got a five-year contract on this event. Yeah. And um, one of the things that we try very hard to do uh, for our visitors and people come to the county, make it easy for them to get to venues, is uh, a wayfinding program. And we had a unique wayfinding program this year is that we had uh, set the bike course up and uh, had signs that go all around the, the, the bike course, which is, I think, 76 miles, I believe. Yeah, and they can Something still, you like know, that. folks, if, if you're a citizen, you're a tourist, whatever, you, you know, you can come in, you can ride that course. And that's the thing so you need about this way, wayfinding is, you know, it's set up so people will come here and train now to just ride that course, which brings more visitors into the county, but uh, a neat program that, that we sponsor to well, just make it more enjoyable for exactly. the Exactly, well, 2,200 athletes pumped about $5.6 million into our local economy. Does that mean jobs? Actually, for every million dollars in economic impact, about 22, 23 jobs are created and, uh, and ultimately sustained. So. That was a big one. The event was actually held at Lake Eva Park in Haines yeah. City. If you haven't been there, oh my goodness, what a, what a gorgeous facility. Gorgeous facility. Yeah. Ken Sauer, the city manager, and uh, uh, the rest of the folks over at the Haines City Economic Development Council, Cindy Janamaso, and uh, you know her crew. Wow, what yeah. a team between Haines City, Economic Development, the Chamber, uh, Polk County Sports Marketing that recruited the event. Mm -hmm. um, some old contacts there that have paid some huge dividends over the years. So we're looking forward to uh, 2013 and uh, more exciting action. Yeah. We don't know if Lance is going to be back. That's the thing. But uh, whether he is or he isn't, it is Still an international be a event. event. I, mean, I was yeah. talking to people from all over the world, Hank. So, okay. You can introduce the next event, which is the Barkley Bean Brian and Friends Golf Tournament out at the First Tee in Lakeland. It's a charity event. What a great event it is. Charles has been coming out for about five years now. You love uh, doing to, that interview, don't oh, you? Oh, I love interviewing him because he's such a c celebrity. He's such a character. And the fun two thing for me, pod, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it makes it fun. But the fun thing for me to interview him is because there's a side that I like to talk about with Charles that the other sportscasters don't. You know, if he's done something goofy or wild, that's what they want to stick on. But when you get to talk to Charles Barkley about his passion for these young kids and how he comes here every year because he just wants to be a part of this event and help out the kids in our community and and his passion for that. You get to see the real genuine Charles and the heart inside and the and the given caring person that he is and that's what makes it fun because he's humble in those interviews because he's so sincere about wanting to help out the kids and be a role model and and let kids know that they've got to do the right things and life to be successful. Well, and that's part of the uh, First Tee promotional program and uh, raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for one of the best programs in the country. Uh, First Tee has some very strong sponsors, but uh, bringing in celebrities like uh, Andy Bean and Charles Barkley and uh, I mean, it's just a, a lot of the top pro golfers will come, come in, yep. and, and, and pro football players and you just, it's just amazing who's going to show up every year to be a part of it. Well, for 77 years the Detroit Tigers have been here in Polk County, uh, City of Lakeland, Bill Tinsley, uh, of course Ron Myers, the uh, uh, Florida GM for uh, the, the Lakeland Tigers. Flying Tigers yeah. and for spring training. Wow, what an economic punch that is every single year. Can't say enough about that relationship. Jackie Johnson and her crew over at the uh, Lakeland Chamber of yeah. Commerce. But the Major League Scramble is one of the uh, highlights of all of spring training in the Grapefruit League, which uh, is the counterpart to the Cactus League. There's two leagues, of course, one in Arizona, and then uh, balanced here over here Florida. with the uh, Grapefruit League here in Florida. And that Tigers partnership with uh, Polk County Tourism and Sports has been a model that others have tried to emulate, haven't been as successful, but the fact of the matter is uh, hats off to the city of Lakeland uh, and all the officials, Ron Myers, Zach Burek, and the, and the crowd over there. It's a fun event. I love playing in that event at, out at Cleveland Heights. Probably the biggest recruiting uh, success, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more, has been the IPSC, International Pistol Shooting Congress, World Shoot. Mm -hmm. Neil Duncan and the crew did an unbelievable job recruiting that event, had to go to Greece to get yeah. it, compete, 
against uh, all the countries from all around the world. world. And yeah. the finalist, Polk County versus Thailand, who is selling something less wholesome than, fam than Polk County's family environment. And uh, that's something we're proud of. And the right thing prevailed. We beat out Thailand. And uh, ultimately, uh, next year, 12 to 13 events, national caliber events, will be at the Universal Shooting Academy, hosted by Frank Garcia and his crew. Wow. It is, this is going to be the Super Bowl of shooting sports at Universal Shooting Academy down in Frostproof. More about that to come. We do have some highlight footage, ladies and gentlemen. This is some great stuff. Hats off to the PGTV camera crew, engineers, producers, and directors that put this together. Check this out, Hank and Mark. We'll be back right after this. Stick around. And thank you for coming out to our grand opening celebration and ribbon cutting ceremony this morning. It's gratifying to see so many people here to celebrate the opening of this important roadway and more importantly to honor the legacy of Ernie Caldwell. Hello everyone, Hank Longo at the first tee for the Barkley, Bean, Bryant and Friends and we're right on the first tee for the tee off. Here we are at Universal Shooting Academy. We're hosting the 14th annual Florida Open Pistol Tournament. 14 countries from around the world. annual Major League Scramble and it's had a few different homes but settled in nicely here with the city of Lakeland and Cleveland Heights. There's a more exciting day at the Lakeland Center than the Saturday of the Sunshine State Games like we have here today. Um, we have this incredible golf tournament going on and it's called Splash. This is our second annual and the whole premise of the golf tournament is that instead of a golf cart, you're getting around on a boat on our wonderful chain of lakes here in Winter Haven. We have a great event here at the club today. It's uh, the Lakeland Regional uh, Cancer Screening for uh, uh, Men's Health. It's all about men's health. All right, thank you so much for coming out to the 10th annual Six Hours of El Lagarto Mountain Bike Race right here in Lois Hart Park, Lakeland, Florida. This is our annual Lake Wells Chamber Golf Tournament. Uh, we do this every year.
Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly hope you enjoyed that footage. And Hank, you know, we talked about individual sports, but all sports are sort of a individual sport and a team sport. We're gonna get into that in just a second. Yes, wanna welcome to our second segment here of our holiday special edition of Sports Central. And wanna thank the folks at Harry's Old Place in Winter Haven for sponsoring this segment. And hey, if you want a great fish meal, you've gotta to go to Harry's, one of my favorite places to go. They're great, and you talk about customer service. Harry, the whole gang, that they're all out Harry there serving. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Harry is, uh, you know, I've known Harry for probably 25, 30 years, great guy, uh, so hospitable. And then uh, Bruce, who kind of oversees the kitchen and stuff like, I mean, the food there, Harry in the bag. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Just some just, great stuff. I just, yeah, that is mouth-watering. It's on Old Cypress Gardens Road, about a mile east of Legoland. Not yeah. Boulevard, Cypress, Cypress Gardens, Gardens Road. Make sure you Road. check that one out. Well, let's talk about some great sports. A big event that has been very successful for us, and of course, you know, with losing the Cleveland Indians, a great um, devastation to the economic impact that had mm -hmm. for Winter Haven in that area. But then you guys recruited Russ Matt Baseball, and it's been such a great success. Well, knowing that the Cleveland Indians uh, had aspirations of moving back to Arizona, saw the handwriting on the wall actually a couple of years before. And so started uh, thinking, okay, we got to get something to replace it. We had, an, it had a choice, three choices. One, do nothing, let it slide. Uh, then you lose $47 million in economic impact a year just from spring training. Get another Major League Baseball team. Which is tough, expensive, it, and it, a lot of parts all got to fit together to do that. The third option was come up with a third option. So we started working with a guy by the name of Dave Barnard out of Maine and uh, who holds the largest spring training for, uh, game program program in the country. Operations in uh, Arizona, St. Pete, Disney, I mean just all over the place. Convinced them to consolidate a lot of those in to Polk County. We would host them. They get a chance to play at a Major League Baseball spring training facility at the Chain of Lakes and, and of course at uh, uh, Lake Myrtle. It really worked out very well. Well more than 200 teams a year, collegiate teams, Ohio okay. State, Penn State, Army, Navy, Air Force Academy, uh, you know, some top-notch baseball teams to come in here, 200 yeah. teams, and just pump millions of dollars back into this economy, 22.4 to be exact this last year, so very, very successful. Yeah. And uh, we played actually more than 12 venues throughout the course of uh, uh, the six weeks Collegiate spring well, it's, training. it's six weeks, and the, the thing that's also neat about it is that these college kids come down, and you get grandma and grandpa coming down, and mom and dad to, and papa you know, to, to come the see South. the event and see their kids playing baseball. And so uh, it, it, it gets the families coming and joining as well, which helps in yeah. people spending the night and going out and whining and dining and having a good time in Polk County. But one of the catalysts for uh, developing arguably one of the best sports complexes in the country, Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. If you haven't been there, you need to check it out. Florida Sports Hall of Fame is there, and Hank, you were involved in, in developing that museum, yeah. uh, as well as tourism and sports and economic development headquarters. Yeah. But a major component of that was the Florida Youth Soccer Association, the largest sports governing body in the state of Florida. 108,000 kids are registered, and they play soccer underneath the FYSA umbrella, which is part of U.S. soccer, the Olympic Committee governing body of the sport of uh, soccer. And so many good things have come from that. I mean, it has just been phenomenal, these FYSA events from the President's Cup. In fact, we have an announcement this morning. I just found out, we just found out this, this morning that uh, the, the uh, U.S. soccer President's National Cup will be in Polk County wow. in 2013. Wow. 88 of the country's top teams will be in Polk County next year. We beat out Oklahoma City. Uh, this will be a huge economic, and these economic impact, but the teams are coming from all over the country, from every state, uh, in combinations they have to go through a regional qualification. But this is huge news for Polk County, the big, big deal. And this partnership with FYSA, their state headquarters at Lake Myrtle, 
I'm telling you, this is big, big news well, uh, in the world of soccer. But that, like, doesn't, that isn't all. Oh, boy, and there's more. <laughs> Absolutely, there's more. Well, we actually had the Tampa Bay Rowdies do, uh, you know, play a, a showcase yeah. uh, here, the uh, professional soccer team out of Tampa. Um, Olympic development training, which is a phenomenal activity. It's a feeder system up to the U.S. Olympic team and the professional soccer teams, and it's right here in Polk County that uh, we do this for the state of Florida. So it's really a neat feeder system with a lot of high profile. In fact, mm -hmm. international camps are held out at Lake Myrtle as well. Well, it has really become a jewel of um, Polk County sports. I mean, soccer has just really taken off for the youth in America. And it's a, it's a great sport, a lot of kids can play. You got your boys, you got your girls playing, because it's just not as a tough a sport as you're going to get into with football, you know, but you get talk about endurance and skill and, and, skill and, and yeah. getting a workout, and it's a thing that gets these sport. kids yeah. out of the house and out on the soccer field, there which you is go. great to see. Good family fun as well. Yeah. Speaking of football, Hank, one of your favorites, the, the Lakeland, Lakeland Raiders. Raiders. Yeah, Are we glad to have them back? Yeah, you it's, know, it's arena football. Soon. Yeah, and what's nice, because you love it, because you go into your depression when the Super Bowl ends and there's no more football, <laughs> you got arena football to fill in the gap, which is, which is always nice. But the thing neat about arena football, you've got great professional football players, but it's different because it's right up close and personal and kind of right in your face. Yeah, it's a little bit like hockey and football combined because yeah. they're smashing mm -hmm. each other into, into the, the boards, boards and, and sometimes into the stands. You get to keep the footballs and, you know, it's just, I don't know how they can afford all those footballs going into the crowd because there's a lot of them that go in there, but it's really a great event. It's a lot of fun yeah. for the family and, uh, you know, hey, you want to take your wife, your Kids whatever, out on a date? It. and. Man, it's Just, fun. It's a fun family event, and, yeah. they, and they it's right here it entertaining. In, it's right, right here in Lakeland. Lakeland. So, oh, absolutely. Uh, congratulations to them. Well, we've got to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, back to Lake Myrtle and to some of our uh, world-class facilities, the Northeast Regional Park, Board of County Commissioners, Parks and Recreation. Oh, what a stellar job they did with this uh, six-field artificial turf uh, complex just off of Highway 27, just north of I-4. Well, as things have it, had some great events out there in cooperation with Disney, ESPN, mm -hmm. Wide World of Sports, but lacrosse spring training, sort of like Russ Matt, only for the fastest growing sport in the country, actually in the world, and that's the sport of lacrosse, believe it or not. So we're going to start a spring training campaign starting in 2013 that's going to be held at that particular strut site in conjunction with uh, Spring Break Sports. Uh, Homeschool World Series, another team sport that was very successful this yeah. year, Hank. That's exciting. Uh, 28 teams from across the country participated in that. A huge team sport, sort of an individual sport too. The PSP, the largest paintball competitive event in the world, is right here in Polk County, believe it or not. Takes place in October out at Fantasy of Flight. Our good friends out there, Kim Long and uh, Kermit Weeks, are so gracious in, in allowing us to uh, set up that event. Yeah. 10,000 people uh, over the course of five days participate in the PSP World Cup. I mean, that was huge. Well, you know, if you, if, if you this is the type of event, the ESPN event that you would expect to see, you know, because there's such a, a staging to all of this. I mean, when you look at the... <laughs> it um, takes weeks to set it up. Yeah, when you look at these uh, areas where they, you know, where they combat against each other, the, it's the staging is something else, and uh, it's a big trade show on top of it. So we've got some great footage that the folks are gonna get to see on this event, and it's really a neat, a neat event. You, you've got to go see it to really appreciate what's going on. Well, Tourism there. Sports had a great recruiting season this year, everybody. It was uh, actually phenomenal and, and kind of shift over to softball real quick before we move out of team sports, and that's the National Softball Association. Um, we'll have the uh, World Series, Girls Fast Pitch World Series here in Polk County in July of next year. That'll be a huge event. Working on bringing some of YBOA Youth Basketball of America's national championships back here. The Independent Softball Association picked up $15 million worth of business uh, from ISA, Independent Softball Association. It'll be here next year wow. at their convention and through our relationship with them. And then the Senior Softball uh, uh, 
USA, Senior Softball USA, based out of Sacramento, California. And uh, what Coming a great group. Tournament of Champions, California. it's the premier softball event in the world here in Polk County, and that'll be taking place this January uh, and part of February as well, and that's coming back along with the spring training for softball. So we're getting into the spring training business big time, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the, in the area of team sports, those are some of the highlights from this year. We do have some footage we want you to check out, Hank and Mark. So we'll be back. I think we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll right hopefully after be back. Segment. Stick around, everybody. our ninth annual International Soccer Academy and we have kids come from different parts of the world. This week we've got the Danish group coming in again from Jellisa School in from Denmark and it includes actually some of these players are already made appearances for the first team in the highest league, the Premier League in Denmark, as well as kids who play for the local clubs in, in different parts of the country. I'm out here, man, just really to give back. I, I feel it's important that um, the platform that I have, not too many people have the platform that I have as a professional athlete. So therefore, I feel it, it's important to, to give back and um, to teach these kids something about life, things that they're gonna go through. Um, kind of just give them advice that'll last, some things they can kind of hold on to and um, better prepare them for what's ahead. Their mission is to provide a youth baseball experience for anyone. Uh, they, in their mission statement, it talks about character building, it talks about team building, it talks about the, the element of sportsmanship, and that is what the, the coaches are instructed to instill in, in the kids and learn how to play a little bit of baseball along the way. want to just come out and just really get involved in girls sports here in Polk County. Uh, Polk County girls basketball have four teams that's ranked in the state of Florida. 
You have Haines City, which is here tonight, that's ranked number two in 7A. You have us, Bartow, that's ranked number eight in 7A. You have Winter Haven, I think they're ranked number seven in 6A, 5A. And then you have McKeel Academy, I think they're in 3A, and they're, they're also ranked in the top 10. So girls sports in Bartow and in, in, in Polk County is just really on the uprise. Hey everybody, welcome back to segment number three of Sports Central. Mark Jackson here with Hank Longo. And uh, wow, what a show so far, Hank. Some great footage, some, uh, some, great some footage, highlights of 2012. Of, a lot of neat stuff to talk about. And here we're in our third segment already. We want to thank our sponsor, Abuelo's Mexican Restaurant in Lakeland. Another great dining opportunity yeah, here in beautiful Polk County. Got Just to check them out. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, Everybody yeah. raves about it. Oh, so it just, you know, went, went shopping in Lakeside Village and went to dinner to Blalo's. Lots of good times there. It's, uh, it's certainly good. And this is, like we said, is our year-end 2012 special over the holiday season. I uh, certainly hope that you're enjoying your family, your friends, uh, or yourself if you're, uh, uh, you're out there enjoying Sports Central. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we've, uh, we've been blessed. Yes, this we year have. we've been blessed financially. We've been blessed in terms of the events that we've had. Um, you know, prosperity is uh, is no stranger to Polk County in the past, and it certainly have a very bright future ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of the things that we've been so proud of is the uh, Legoland and uh, the instrumental. Uh, uh, job, I guess, that uh, the entire county played in, in, in bringing that here and uh, particularly yeah. tourism and sports marketing working uh, night and day at, at points to bring that here. 1,200 jobs dropping the unemployment rate in Polk County a year ago uh, for down one percentage point because of Legoland opening Hank, $456 million in economic impact from that one theme park. Well, it's just been remarkable what they've, they've done and they've kept a great uh, historic part of Florida alive. Yeah. I mean Cypress Gardens being the first real theme park in Florida and and what a great tradition it is and for people to be able to go into the park and still enjoy the gardens and the ski show and they've just incorporated it all and, and it's it's exceeded their expectations yeah. so that's been uh, a great bit of news for us as well. Well it's interesting throughout the state of Florida uh, there are 67 counties in the state of Florida, and the majority have a tourism, uh, and, and well, mo most of them don't have a sports arm. Uh, a good portion of them do. But the fact of the matter is, it is a true economic engine. Tourism is our number one industry in the state of Florida. Sports being number two, believe it or not, it's $37 billion a year industry here, and uh, tourism is number one at $64 billion a year. Powerful shot economically, and more than 20,000 jobs uh, are related to tourism here in Polk County. That's a lot of people yeah. when it comes to employment. And one of those uh, events that really contributes and stimulates the, the economy here has been the Orange Cup Regatta. Gene Engel and his crew and sports marketing team up to put this on. It's the longest running race in the state of Florida. Uh, it's, it's 70 some years this thing has been going on and uh, geez about half as old as Gene. Yeah, he isn't yeah. here so I can slam yeah, him so a little can, bit but I'll hear him about a it bit. later. But, but a really, great uh, event yeah. and what's so neat about it is all the different boats that you get to see. On the Lake of Records. On the Lake, Lake of Records and... You know and, what my favorite? Uh, I do and I can't think of the Jersey name. Jersey Skiffs. The Jersey oh, Skiffs. Oh I love Jersey Skiffs, yep. I wouldn't commit suicide in one of those, but anyway, <laughs> they're fun to watch. They are fun to watch. Well, the Lakeland Pro Rodeo, another uh, great spectator sport, and that's really the segment that we're in right now, everybody. Some of the stuff that uh, tourism and sports have brought in to uh, Polk County and uh, the, the Pro Rodeo, the biggest disappointment yeah. this year, they didn't have rodeo monkeys. I love the rodeo monkeys. Those are <laughs> awesome. It's these, these monkeys, these hats, and they, they ride, ride these around. either sheep or dogs. You know, <laughs> and I know it's Neil Duncan's favorite. You yeah, know, and Neil's. he's one of our co-hosts every once in a while. But he loves those rodeo monkeys. He likes he likes them riding those dogs and sheep. But his aspiration. <laughs> oh, one I think, day. Well, I think Logan, his little boy, you really know, likes, likes it, it. So Neil likes it. So well, you whatever. know, they have just such great events there. You know, it's just not all the barrel racing. 
yeah. they've got the That's barrel totally racing, favorite. of course, the bull riding. These guys got to be the toughest guys on the planet to get on one of those big bulls and hang on. I'm telling you, <laughs> holy moly. That is that is. But incredible. they have the bareback bronc riding, uh, the tie down roping, calf roping, the tear team roping, the steer wrestling. I mean, you get to see it all when you come to this rodeo at the Lakeland Center. That's it, and that's coming back again this year. Your favorite, or one of your favorites, the Rocket Man Night Jump. Well, what the heck is that, everybody? The Rocket Man Night These Jump. These are the, the best long distance water ski jumpers on the planet competing at night for cash prize. Well, what's so neat is that they set up this course, and it's at night, and uh, they light up where the skier uh, we'll start his counter cut, they light up where the skier's cutting from, and then you've got a spotlight on the ramp and where they land. So uh, talk about extreme, extreme sports. These guys are going 70 plus miles an hour. Out of the dark, you see them come flying at this ramp and jumping over 200 feet in the dark. It's just unbelievable. It's wild. So. Uh, the best jumpers in the world, world champion record holder Freddy Krueger is there, the rocket man, the who's who of jumping comes to this event, which is really neat. And that's at Lake Gru, over by Fantasy of Flight at USA Water Ski Headquarters in the Water Ski Hall of Fame and Museum. So it's right there off exit 44 in Polk City and just what a fantastic yeah, the, the event. National, uh, U.S. Olympic Museum, national governing body, the sport, USA Water Ski. Yeah. Well, a couple of uh, other events that are worth mentioning, of course, Frank Tiano with uh, uh, Florida Jets and the, and the rest of these aviation organizations. Frank Tiano, though, the best of the best when it comes putting to putting on. on these Top Gun and Monster planes. That's uh, phenomenal in the Bryan store. And they're radio control. That's what's neat about it is, yeah. you know, these, this is a hobby and we've had Frank on the show. Thirty or forty thousand dollars for some of these planes. From, these guys from are going these nuts. radio control planes. And so do and the fans. And they're big. They're huge. The, you know, the real expensive ones. They've got them like jets and and you know they'll go over yep. 100 miles an hour and it's just a fascinating event. Yeah, great race this year in terms of spectator sports, the Brian Store uh, Memorial Race at uh, uh, Memorial Race. This Brian Store Race at, at Auburndale Speedway. Um, still a viable track here in Polk County. Mm -hmm. A lot of tourists in, uh, you know in town will uh, will head on over there to see some racing, but the big story of the year in terms of spectator sports the Detroit Tigers. American League champions in 2012 yeah. right here in Polk County. Of course, they start their season here with spring training. Uh, we talked a little bit about them earlier, but can't say enough about that organization. Uh, it's just a delight to work with them. It's a delight to work with the city of Lakeland on uh, what's, you know, Important. arguably the, 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 not arguably, it is the longest mm -hmm. running relationship in Major League Baseball spring training in history. 77 years are going on. It's going on 77 years and the Flying Tiger, speaking of successes in entertainment, the Flying Tiger, I love their fireworks on Saturdays, but that's one of the neat things about it. It's you know, a yeah, great family Flying event. Tigers were the Florida State champions this year. You have the American League champions, went into the World Series, um, then you have the Flying Tigers, Florida State champions, oh, State League champions. That is just Unbelievable. Yeah. And the neat thing, folks, is for, with the Flying Tigers is you get to see the best baseball that you're going to see without it being the major leagues. Yeah. And they make it a fun family event. They make it affordable. They get the kids involved. They've got fireworks. Uh, they've just done a fantastic job of bringing America's sport to the family affordably. Affordably, and uh, although a lot of the players, including Justin Verlander, you know, started superstar, there. started there. Yep, and uh, that's you see the stars of the future. Uh, a couple others that are worth mentioning, if you will. It, what it takes to be number one is a uh, is an event that is uh, sponsored by Tracy McGrady, NBA superstar out of Auburndale, holds that every single year. So we're very proud of uh, Tracy that McGrady and what he does for the committee. In, yeah. Yep. And then the Symmetra slash Futures Tour, which is part of the LPGA yeah. Feeder Tour. Um, Top female golfers golfers in the country are hosted out at Lake Region Lake and. Region. Uh, you know, it's just, it just goes on and on and on with these world-class spectator events right here in Central Florida's Polk County. This is the amateur sports capital and arguably in some ways uh, very strong into professional sports too, but this is the amateur sports capital of the state of Florida and we're certainly proud of that. We do have some more footage. We also have coming up the one, the only, Miss Jessica 
Roberts, the arts guru the arts of guru Polk, Polk County, County, is going to be joining us for a couple of special events, a little conversation there. She'll provide us some insights. Uh, some of them are sports, some of them are arts and culture, kind of a combination of both. So check out this footage, everybody. Hank and Mark will be back right after this. Stick around. U.S. team trials for the under 17 and the 17 to 21 categories. They are for the U.S. teams that are going to re be competing uh, in the Junior World Championships and also the Pan Am Championships. So you got the best skiers in the country, all over, from all over the country, come here to Polk County, uh, to Lake Grew to compete, and then the team will be selected on Sunday afternoon after the results are in. Brian Story passed away um, and the family wanted to do a memorial race for him. He won a lot of races here at this race track at Arbondale. You know, he's track champion and stuff. So what better place to have a memorial race here than somewhere we won a lot of races. This is the Lakeland Winter Sectional Junior Championship. It's a tennis tournament that only the top ranked players in the state of Florida are invited to. And a lot of the players that are here are also highly national ranked players. So uh, it's an invitational only tournament. So only the top ranked players are invited to it. And uh, uh, being a sectional tournament, the quality of play is just astronomical. I've been coming to here to this event for a, uh, about two or three years now, and I've also been coming to the other events, Florida Jets and every other event Frank puts on here at Paradise Field uh, for at least three to four years, and uh, it's, it's a joy being over here in Lakeland. And uh, it's a beautiful place to fly, beautiful airport.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports Central, our fourth and final segment, if you will. Yep, our fourth segment and our sponsor, the Ramada Inn and Conference Center in Lakeland. Thank you so much for supporting Sports Central. Well, we've gone over and covered team sports and individual sports and spectator sports. This is kind of a combination, our next segment. It's arts, culture, and sports all wrapped up into one. You can be a participant, you can be a spectator, you know, maybe sometimes it's part of a team, but some exciting stuff yeah, nonetheless. Some just really unique things as well, and uh, the arts, uh, just a great uh, addition to the wonderful things we have to offer in Polk County. Well, it's a good combination. And with us is Jessica Roberts, as promised. Uh, we call her the guru. There's a lot of gurus in arts and culture in Polk County, but uh, affectionately known as the guru of arts and culture because she is our official voice on Sports Central yeah. and other uh, PGTV programming that talks about and, and highlights arts and culture. Jessica, welcome. Thank you for having me. Good. You look very handsome today. Thank you, Mark. You <laughs> are you. very welcome. <laughs> well, the uh, uh, event that I think, well, there's so many events that I just love going to because I, you know, I'm, I'm a pork eating guy. You know, I just love, in fact, we have some coverage coming up after we're uh, done interviewing Jessica that has this guy <laughs> here <laughs> interviewing a pig. That's a good conversation. Very yeah, interesting yeah, thing. <laughs> There's so many things that go through your head that you just can't, you know, you can't cover it all. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, it's we have some fun stuff coming up after this. Speaking of fun stuff, back to Jessica and Jessica, uh, Smoke on the Water Barbecue uh, is held at the Boys and Girls Club and to benefit Boys and Girls Club yes. in Winter Haven on Auburndale, uh, between Auburndale and Winter Haven on uh, Havendale Boulevard and a really interesting event with a lot of interesting activities that go on there. It isn't just you go and eat a bunch of pork. You yeah. know, there's other stuff. You're there for the whole day with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, entertain live entertainment, great uh, music, um, a kid zone, of course all the pork you could want, lots mm -hmm. of food, and then it, it's part of the big picture of the barbecue events that happen in Polk County, which lasts about two months. So it's so kind of a series? It is. Events. We have, okay. there's, there's a, an event in Haines City, Lake Wales, I do believe, Mulberry, yeah, Mulberry. is Vines Wine, and of course the Lakeland Pig Fest. So we, we, January and February is all about eating here. Well, and nothing those, wrong about that. Yeah. I mean, heck, you spend November and December eating too. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You might as well Finally around April, we get to work <laughs> some of that stuff <laughs> off. I'm Detox. You. Yeah. Anyhow, but uh, uh, the Smoke on the Water and the other events oh, are Hain just City fan, too, that has a, mm -hmm. are has fantastic. Haines City has, has a great Dundee. one. Yes, and, they do. Uh, yeah, about so we've got, That's new. We got uh, barbecue events going on all around the county, which are which are great. And and like for the Boys and Girls Club, uh, I try to make it to that every year, and it it just gets to be uh, just an incredible event. Frank Schmores and that whole crew, the money that they raise for the Boys and Girls Club. That's what's so neat about it is because it's such a good event and with such a good reason to go there and just enjoy all this world class barbecue that they've got going yeah, on. Yeah, I think, I think Jessica's sort of a secret pork aficionado. <laughs> no. Likes gnawing on those ribs. No. <laughs> hey, but Mayfair on the Lake, too, another great uh, event that we've got going on that, uh, you know, you now that, definitely... Now that, I'm all about that. You can be all and that's, about... And that's an arts and culture event that because is. there's a 5K on Saturday night. And that's the interesting you part. That, I, I did. I did this past year. I actually been going to uh, Mayfair. It's my mother's one of the family gifts for her uh, for Mother's Day every Sunday for ten years at least. And I had no idea there's a huge event the Friday night beforehand, which is great for the family. It's a 5K, which is a great course actually. And then. Um, and fireworks, live music, the city does a great job of putting all that on with the help of the museum and the Lakeland Runners Club. So that's something that a lot of people don't actually know about. Friday night, it's Saturday and Sunday. It's the three-day, full three-day event. Yeah. So. That's one of the premier uh, arts events in, in Florida. It is, mm -hmm. 155 artists. Um, two days, they come, they're here, and it's spectacular art too. Huge local turnout though, primarily, uh, and, and I know uh, Mary Beth, my wife Mary Beth, she goes with her daughter and her son mm -hmm. every single year because of Mother's Day. Exactly. You know, so they go and buy presents and all that type of stuff. And I say, hey, 
Why don't you buy yourself a Mother's Day present? <laughs> yeah, that's what my dad does. 50 bucks. Go grab yourself a yeah. little she something. She picks out what she wants. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you know, she gets nice. exactly get what they know. want. You know, and as opposed to Mark Jackson picking something yeah. out. Just like, well, it's on Lake Morton, so a great yeah. venue for the having venue. the yes. event. And, yeah. and then the, the Saturday night uh, special event is on Lake Mirror. Um, speaking of uh, Mayfair by the Lake and, and uh, Polk Museum of Art, in vibrant color. That's an excellent huge, exhibit, yes. Huge and, catch for and, and Pro Tell County. us about it. Beautiful. Uh, over 20 portraits from, um, I believe, the 1940s and 50s, basically. Not um, portrait painting, but portrait No, it's actually photos. Right. Uh, Warnicke actually designed the first color uh, camera, and it was this huge contraption, and what happened was it in the end, the photos have so much depth that we don't see anymore, so they almost have a 3D aspect to them. Um, they're, most of them are 11 by 14 or 8 by 10s at the museum. It's in one room, but it's truly, the color is truly vibrant, and it's got a lot, it's from the Smithsonian. It's the first exhibit from the Smithsonian. Um, here in Polk County. Here in Polk County. Which and we actually were the first stop on the tour, which was huge. It was, it's the first time it's ever been out of the Smithsonian. And I didn't mean to interrupt, but it's uh, our partnership bringing the Smithsonian to the Polk Museum yes. of Art, which is a very... Greg Ruthven and Claire uh, Oralagas, um, boy, I tell you, they're, they're on fire over there at, at the Polk Museum of Art. Great facility. I had the opportunity to go to uh, uh, the unveiling if mm -hmm. you will, and, and the lady that uh, instrumental with the Smithsonian came down, did a lecture on it, and it's like, well, okay, how exciting is a lecture going to be about, you know, photographs? It was phenomenal. It was. I mean, I was like, yeah. wow, this is really cool, yeah. you know, and, and I enjoyed the whole thing. It was really, it was a phenomenal evening, you know, and so hats off to uh, Polk Museum of Art and, and all the gang over there because they've done a great job and are continuing to do good work and that continued partnership between tourism and sports marketing. Absolutely. And arts and culture is certainly producing uh, some, some great results. Uh, Bloom and Arts Festival. The Bloom and Arts yes. Festival. We've, there's a 5K with that, so the sports and the arts are combined. Um, all the proceeds from the 5K go to Polk Arts Alliance, so it's a great fundraiser. And then the Bloom and Arts Festival, which I went to as a kid, um, I'm not going to say how many years ago that was, but two-day event, it's great, and lots of out, actually that brings a lot of um, outside of the county visitors to Bartow. Jessica, the most comprehensive calendar, people want more information. Yes. Okay, if you will, about arts and culture and what there is going on in terms of events, <clears throat> what venues are uh, uh, producing different shows or whatever it may be, exhibitions. Where can folks go to get that information? You can go to visitcentralflorida.org, and we mm -hmm. do have an online events calendar. Mm -hmm. That calendar also feeds through to the Explore Central Florida app that uh, our office and the Ledger Media Group put together. And so you That's really been a hot commodity lately. That has been it. nice. Um, both, both the app and our website have the mobile version. Okay. So wherever you are, if you're out looking for something to do, um, you can sort that down by location, by date. Um, and then the Polk Arts Alliance also has a calendar. Okay, well that's uh, that's also a good source for it. So, Polk Arts Alliance, uh, Polk Museum, Visit Central Florida mm -hmm. Visit Central Florida org is is the place, and then of course the the Ledger app. What's what yes. when you do the app thing? What do you do? You just download Explore uh, Central Florida from on your Google phone or through the Google uh, Store or your iPhone. Okay, and there's an events section, things to do. Okay. Well, everybody, we have, uh, and by the way, Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. Always uh, insightful. Brought some beauty to the show. Absolutely. Oh, you. <laughs> you know, and I was kidding a little Do bit about the, uh, Jessica eating ribs. She's, she's not a big uh, uh, rib eater, pork eater, but uh, we, we always like to have a little bit of fun with our special guests and culture. Some great footage. And we appreciate it. Here's some super footage. And you want to see this uh, interview with a pig? by this guy here. <laughs> Check this out. After you're done uh, watching that and laughing a little bit, we'll be back with a wrap and uh, some new information for you. Stick around, everybody. We will be back right after this. on the water with Oliver the pig. Oliver, uh, 
so great to have you joining us. Well, it's great to be here, Hank, and I'm having a blast. Well, that's lovely. I see you got strawberry shortcake. We got the best strawberry shortcake in the world. four years now. That's wonderful. Now why do you bring your business here? I uh, just sell a lot of barbecue and we love to cook. Here I am with this gorgeous little piggy that wants to kiss everybody. Here you want a little, there you go. And for $3, you get to kiss the pig. And are you having fun here? Having a wonderful time here at Smoke on the Water. A little tired from all the kissing that's been going on here. What, what was that? You're tired from kissing last night? Well, who were you kissing last night? Mark Jackson, oh, that's why you're so tired. Understandable. Hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the interview with the pig by <laughs> Mr. Longo. Welcome back to Sports Central. Wow, was that fun? That was fun. It's a fun <laughs> event. And I got a kick it, out of it. It's actually one of those fun things you get to do that we don't get to do that often you know what I mean so while you're there it's just fun being out there goofing around a little bit and having fun. You did a lot of announcing this year. Yeah. As did I. Had, had yeah. some great opportunities yeah. uh, promoting Polk County at the uh, you know you did the Nationals uh, Water Ski Championships. I did yeah. the World uh, for uh, TV a webcast and uh, international broadcast that was uh, that was a big deal and yeah. you know it's just been a busy busy year with uh, yeah. everything from golf to water skiing to whatever but. and you know uh, one of the neat things that you don't get to see us do but uh, you can listen to us and that's the Sports Central talk show that we have on AMWLKF, and you and Chris Keprios do a great job with that one of the oh, top ranked sports talk shows at that drive time and get to top five in a 32 station market during on that's Thursdays fantastic of and it's yeah. just continued to rise yeah so it's, that's that's been a blessing and you know Hank uh, got speaking of blessings uh, we have a blessing of having so many individual businesses that uh, and major corporate businesses that have supported uh, what we do both in tourism and in sports and in other areas and so we have some people well to thank. some great folks that we want Harry Seafood Bar and Grill want to thank that, those folks and the Best Western in Auburndale the Hyatt Place at the Lakeland Center the Travel Lodge Lakeland North and the Days in Lakeland North. Uh, just a few of the folks that helped make this all possible that we want to thank very much for their support. Well, if you'd like more information about sports in Polk County and other things, you can check out our website, which is Visit Central, excuse me, that's our tourism website, visitcentralflorida.org. On the sports side of things, it's Central Florida Sports. Dot com. All the events, all the things that are coming up, things that are happening. You can even get some professional profiles in there about uh, some of the folks that are involved. But this is a season, uh, although Thanksgiving is over, we've got to count our blessings the entire year. And that's what this show and what we do is all about. It's counting our blessings and maximizing on those blessings to uh, bring prosperity, happiness, and well-being to all of the citizens here in Polk County and success to our businesses. Yeah. And Hank, he just can't say enough about what the Board of County Commissioners, our County Manager, Jim Freeman, all the folks here at PGTV and tourism and uh, sports marketing do for Polk County. It's, uh, it's truly a blessing to work with all of them. Yeah. It's more like a family than yeah. anything else. And it is smart dollars being put to work to enhance the quality of life right here in Polk County. Well, our next live show is going to be 
uh, January 11th. Well, this is Mark Jackson for Hank Longo and the entire crew at PGTV bidding you very happy holidays, everyone, and we'll see you again next time. Out of the park with that one.